Hi there, this is the first project. I know that you've been wanting to start with the face mask. I know people want to make one of those and I am gonna do that as soon as I can. That's gonna be one of the earlier projects, but I did want to start with a project that is just basically three rows of sewing and a button. Because we haven't learned how to sew a button on yet, so I'm gonna teach you how to do that. You don't have to do a button hole, because this button is just decorative. So you probably saw in the introduction, we're gonna make some cable wraps. Now I've got the instructions here for you, which I will film right now down here. Um, and you can see all the equipment that you need to do a cable wrap. <laughs> Um, so cable wraps are great, they just keep your cables nice and neat and together, stop them spiralling off into wherever. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to make, we're going to make a cable wrap. So what we'll need, as you just saw from the project sheet, is a piece of fabric. I'm using this little piece of green rose print fabric. I'm going to guess that this fabric is older than me. I found it in my grandma's case upstairs and there was only a tiny, tiny piece of it um, there, enough actually for me to make three of these cable wraps. So you need a piece 10 centimetres this way by five centimetres this way. Um, and that's all the fabric that you need for this. Very, very simple. So first things first, we're off to the iron to press the fabric and create the seams. So. Come with me, the iron is in the kitchen. Okay, so we put it on the ironing board, face up, and squish it with your iron. It's all very simple so far, nice advert for Morphe Richards. Now, take your piece of fabric and turn it over so that instead of the right side, you've got the wrong side of the fabric facing up. And then what you're gonna do is fold it in thirds sort of so the first one you're going to fold into a third and then again squash it with the iron to get a nice crisp fold in the fabric and then you're going to turn it round because it's easier to have the fold bit facing towards you so that folded edge is now away from me now you're going to fold this one over not quite all the way to the other side you see what i'm doing now i've left a little gap and then again, squish that down and your folds are ready. The first piece of sewing that you're gonna to do today, and you're only gonna do three straight rows, is you're gonna put this into the machine and sew what you've just made, this, this fold, sew it together. I'll put you on this camera down here. I'm going to bring my fabric in, lift up my presser foot and pop this in at the end of the fabric. I'm going to hold the thread behind, secure that with my thumb and I'm going to move the needle to the downwards position ready for the first stitch. You'll see I've put this camera at a slightly different angle today because it was kind of difficult to sew around the camera being with it sat straight in front of me. So I've put it, put it to the side. I hope that works just as well. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but on here we now have one row of stitches going straight down the middle of this piece of fabric and exactly the same on the other side. You could really easily do this by hand. It's just one row of back stitch down the middle of your fabric so there's no need to do this on a sewing machine in fact this is a really good project if you don't have a sewing machine you can do this very easily and it's not going to take you too much time so what we've got are these tails of thread so we'll cut these off and because you've done a back stitch you can cut that right to the edge I think I said earlier you have to sew three lines of thread I lied you have to sew two this, this is the second one so you're going to take your uh, piece of fabric that you've just made and you're going to fold it with the the edge on the outside so you're going to fold the smooth edge into the middle and the raw edge as it's called 
is on the outside. So let's go back to machine cam and uh, I'll show you the next stitch and what you're going to do. So back on here, you're going to take this piece of fabric that you've folded. You're going to have the fold to the left of you and the uh, open end to the right of the machine. And you're going to pop it into the machine, leaving probably about a half to one centimeter on the right hand side of the needle and we're going to put down the presser foot and I'm going to sew a straight line just across this bit of fabric here. And you'll see my machine is being really weird. As soon as I go to do a reverse stitch, it breaks the thread. I'm not quite sure. What's going on? I shall have to investigate. Again, if you were doing that by hand, very, very easy. Just one row, the tiniest row of back stitches across there. It'll probably be five or six stitches will be enough to hold it together. Next thing we're going to do is go back to the iron and press this seam flat out this way. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm unfolding the fabric, that uh, seam that we've just made, and I'm squashing it flat with the eye whoops flat with the iron so simple here we are it's ready for its final step which is to have its button sewn on the top as i said this is just a decorative button it's not functional at all and i've got a green button that matches the green color you could use a alternative color you could use wacky colors you could do one of these in you know, a plain fabric and use a coloured button on the top, whatever you wanted to do, whatever you've got in your supplies. We're just going to sew this button onto the top of the cable wrap and then we're done. Now here we are on button cam. <laughs> so you're taking the seam that you've just sewn and pressed out flat is going to be where your button goes. So you're going to place your button on top of there. That's where it's going to get sewn on. I'm going to do this by hand no machine necessary. So I've got a needle and I've loaded it with some green thread. I hope you can see that. We're actually going to double sew here, uh, which means we're going to pull the thread so that it's actually the full length in half. Now I hope you can see there's the two ends and they're at exactly the same. Um, distance from the needle and then what we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot in those two ends to knot them both together. Here we go this is all we need needle, thread, button, cable wrap. I'm taking the needle through the layers of fabric and coming up do you see just kind of next to the seam that we just sewed and actually I'll pull it all the way through. Then I'll take the button and pop one of the holes of the button onto the needle and then just let that fall through and onto the piece of fabric. I'm now going to go back in with the needle and I'm going to go down this hole through all the layers of fabric and pull the needle all the way through. I'm now going to come up through this hole of the button and then I'm going to take it down through the fourth hole of the button and pull it through the back. At the very least, the button is now secured into position. Now, what I'm going to do is just do some crosses on the top. So I went down through this hole, so I'm now going to come back up through this hole. Now I'm going to go back down through this hole. And 
can see we've created a sort of N shape, if you like, with the thread. I'm now going to come back up through this same hole from underneath. And then once more, I'm going to go down through this hole. There we go. Now I'm going to come back up through this hole here. So still from underneath. Now we're going to take our thread across to the opposite hole that we've just come up from. So it's a little bit fiddly. So don't use a tiny button. Use one that is sizable enough to handle and handle quite uh, well. Then we're going to come back up this hole. I'm going to go back down this hole. That is our button sewn on. We just need to secure it on the back and then we're done. So the easiest way to do this is to actually turn it a little bit inside out. So if you just take the button and turn it inside out, you'll see your sewing won't be particularly neat, but it doesn't matter. It's on the inside. No one is ever going to see it. There's all the weird stitches that I made to sew the button on. Not very neat at all, doesn't matter, it's not seen. So what we're going to do is put one stitch into the fabric and pull the needle through. Once we've got a little bit of a loop, we're going to tuck the needle underneath the loop and continue to pull it through so it forms a knot. And then we're going to do go underneath that knot that we just made, pick up the thread, Make another loop, put the needle through the loop, pull it off to a knot. I'm going to take our scissors and we're going to cut as close in as we can, just leaving a few millimetres of thread just for a bit of security. Flip this back the right way, and there you have a little cable wrap made by your own fair hand. And there we go. It won't come undone, the cable won't get loose, and it'll look cute too. So there you go, there's your first sewing project. A very simple cable wrap with a button detail embellishment just to make it look pretty. That was difficult to do on camera. When I whizzed these ones up, just as a demo piece, they took like, 10 minutes maximum. That's taken 45 minutes to film that. That's ridiculous.